in this video, we're going to be looking at the topic of how do we name binary molecular compounds. Now, to identify something as a binary molecular compound, there must be two elements, and they're both going to be non-metallic. That means that they're both going to be to the right and above the stair steps on the periodic table. Okay, now let's look at some examples over here. To name binary molecular compounds, you need to know the following prefixes. One is mono, two is di, three is tri, four is tetra, five is penta, six is hexa, seven is hepta, octa for eight, nona for nine, deca for ten. Now these are a combination of uh, being derived from both Latin and Greek terms. So there's a little bit of mix and matching. Um, very common student error is to use septa rather than hepta for seven. So please be aware of uh, the combination of both Latin and uh, Greek roots for these prefixes. So let's look at some examples. If I have the compound CO, the name of this will be, <clears throat> excuse me, the name of this will be carbon monoxide. Please note, if I have just one atom in the molecule of the first element, we don't need to use the prefix mono for the first element. Um, so I don't say monocarbon, that just sounds weird, right? I do use the prefix mono for the oxygen because there's only one of those. Now we don't really say monoxide, that's just kind of clumsy, so we just condense that, drop one of the O's to say monoxide. CO2 would be carbon dioxide. If I have more than one of the first element, then I need to use a prefix. If I have, say, something like dinitrogen pentoxide, this is indicating to me that I have two nitrogens, N2, and five oxygens, O5. Again, some places you might see this as pentaoxide, some places you'll see this as pentoxide. There's a little bit of uh, variation as far as preferences for how people will write that. Uh, I've seen both, so I consider both to be acceptable.